Hi, this is Jane with Green Side Up. It is spring here in our garden center. Today we are going to be talking about bog plants and specifically about the carnivorous plants that grow here in North Carolina. Now, I came from Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes and 10,000 swamps, although they don't put that on the license plate. So what is a swamp? Well, really, it's kind of a bog. A bog is an area that stays primarily moist, although in times of drought, it can kind of dry up and the plants in that area, well, they survive. And then when it gets rainy again, they thrive in this wet conditions. Bog plants are um, really, there's several of them all over the United States, but the carnivorous plants, there's like 66 varieties here in the United States. Did you know 36 varieties thrive naturally here in North and South Carolina? That's kind of cool. So carnivorous plants, what does that mean? It means that they are not getting all their nutrients from the soil, kind of like normal plants do, but they get their nutrients from, have you guessed it? Bugs. Okay, so I'm glad they don't invite me for dinner. Specifically, we're gonna talk about, oh, a couple plants that do grow native here in North Carolina. So a lot of the plants in North Carolina, the, the carnivorous plants, they grow along the coast, not maybe like right on the coast, but within, so, um, say within like 60 miles. There's actually swamps that have these plants. Although I did read that even up in the mountains, there are some carnivorous plants that grow naturally. Um, one, of the, one of the plants that does really well here in North Carolina is the Venus flytrap. In fact, it does so well that while other plants have a native bird, a native flower, we have a native carnivorous plant, the Venus flytrap. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the Venus flytrap. We're also gonna talk about um, a pitcher plant. And then there are other types of plants that are carnivorous. Told you that they eat insects. And I know you can't see this real well, you're gonna get a close up. So this little itty bitty thing is a Venus flytrap. What happens is that the bugs, the insects, will crawl onto the plant and the part of the plant that eats them will actually close around it. And then the bug can't escape and the plant lets off a chemical that kind of absorbs the bug and takes it into the plant as a nutrient. There's also the little pitcher plants. What happens with those is the insect goes into the little part that's a pitcher and they can't get out. There's another type of plant also that has a sticky substance. So the plant, um, the plant is sitting there, the bug walks onto it, gets stuck, can't get off, lunch. So a lot of these plants, they grow in a bog and the bogs around here aren't rich in, um, in soil, um, nutrients in their soil. So for instance, um, it's, it's acidic soil, um, doesn't have a lot of nutrients. And that's why these plants need something to give them uh, the nutrients. That's the bugs. Um, if you're watching the plants, if you're watching, if you're, if you're there in that bog and you're watching what's going on there, you'll see that there's lots of insects. These insects are, are kind of flying around, probably kind of um, trying to figure out if they dare go down over into those bog plants. These bog plants are kind of particular about what they eat. Now don't ask me how they know that because they don't really know how they can distinguish what's good for lunch and what's not. But for instance, the little Venus flytrap will eat spiders and ants, but it does not really eat bees. You know why? I don't know, but the bees are good for pollinating and it somehow knows it shouldn't be eating the pollinating insects and so it doesn't. And the bees can do their little pollinating on the flowers and away they go. What do these guys eat? Well, depends on what kind of plant they are. The little Venus flytraps, they will eat, um, they will eat like your spiders that come through. They will eat small flies. Unfortunately, if you're buying one of these and you want it to eat something in your kitchen like um, those little nasty flies that fly around your fruit, 
those little flies aren't quite big enough to trigger the response, so they may not be eating those. There is a plant, however, also a carnivorous. It is called a sundew, and this one will eat those little itty bitty tiny insects. This one also does grow native here in North Carolina. You may be wondering if you can go to a swamp and dig up these plants. The answer is a big no. It is illegal to dig up any of these little plants in nature. We do have a selection of different kinds of carnivorous plants here. If you're interested in coming in to look at them and we can give you a little more information. And well, we would like to do that. I hope you've learned something from this video about the carnivorous plants. I did, I love doing these videos because I learned so much. Hope to see you here at Green Side Up. This is Jane saying have a great day.